obviously a tough loss. Um, you know, after surviving some foul trouble the first half, uh, and then in a lot of ways kind of sleepwalking through the first half, I thought we really responded um, to start the second half, both offensively and defensively. And I thought, uh, you know, our defense really created some offense for us. Um, you know, then I just, I thought we relaxed a little and I uh, thought things became too easy for them uh, on the offensive end. And, uh, you know, offensively, we had a lot of empty possessions. So, uh, you know, a disappointing loss, but at the same time, you know, Butler played a heck of a game. Uh, they controlled tempo uh, at a really high level uh, and, you know, forced us into some, some mistakes that we don't normally make. Matt DeMarius, go ahead. Mac, uh, just from memory, what were you able to see as far as why uh, Aaron Thompson was, or how Aaron Thompson was so effective in getting into the teeth of your defense and making plays for himself and his teammates to kind of get Butler back in the game? Well, I mean, he's a senior. He's he's very athletic, very quick, very strong. Uh, you know, very creative, going over both shoulders when he when he gets in close to the basket. <laughs> And, uh, you know, you get you get caught on a couple back cuts, so you stay a little closer, and you know, now he has a little bit more room to operate. And at times I thought, you know, we left our feet some uh, when he got close to the basket, and that was able to create some uh, easy baskets for them. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a heck of a player. There's no question. John? Hey, Greg, you mentioned the empty possessions. What did you see just down the stretch? I don't know if there was a difference in overtime or uh, – in the final six or seven minutes of the second half, but obviously you just weren't able to find that, you know, shot that put the game away or the dagger, I guess you would say. Yeah. I mean, we still, you know, 60, I think it was 60, 52 or whatever it was. And we come down and transition. Mitch has a wide open three, uh, makes a one more pass to Denzel in the corner that probably ices the game. Uh, and, you know, Denzel missed it and Mitch made the extra pass because Denzel had played so well and made so many shots that game. And, uh, you know, we got it in deep one time with DJ, I remember, and missed a layup. Uh, and then we, uh, you know, obviously we had a couple turnovers there in the last four possessions that were, were, were costly as well. Matt Foster. Mac, with having that week off and then coming out scoring the fewest amount of points you guys have in a year, did you notice some sluggishness from your team at all pregame or just heading into today? No, I thought, you know, I thought we were okay. Uh, you know, we needed some time off this week, obviously with the, with Marcus's injury and, you know, Sharif's certainly not a hundred percent. I thought he gave a gutsy effort today, given how that ankle is. Uh, so, you know, we weren't, uh, you know, the Tuesday practice, while we would have liked to really uh, take a step forward for ourselves, we had no point guards really, uh, you know, of the, of the two rotational guys that have been playing. Uh, so, you know, that threw a wrench into our plans for the week, but I, I thought we had a decent preparation uh, I think we understood what we had to take away from from Butler. I think we, you know, we did a good job on uh, uh, making Bolden's catches and looks difficult. Uh, you know, we just, uh, you know, Thompson got us, and obviously Tate hit a couple, you know, backbreakers at a critical time. Matt DeMarias. How were you guys able to establish that rhythm that you guys got into that early part of the second half? Um, I mean, obviously, shot making was part of it, but it seemed like you guys were attacking, you know, at least spaces before Butler could get their defense set more than they were in the first. Well, I think the, the key was we got stops, so we weren't uh, we weren't always playing against a set defense. Uh, and you know, when they when they set their defense, they're they're a really good defensive team. They hold they've held a lot of teams in check, uh, and you know, we were we were getting stops, and because we were getting stops, we had them playing in space a little bit. And, uh, you know, Denzel had a, a heck of a run right there uh, during that stretch. So, uh, unfortunately, we, we couldn't finish it. And, uh, you know, we'll have to get back to the drawing board and get ready for a tough game on Wednesday. The three more, we'll start with John, we'll start with John Neatala. Greg, you have, you have veteran teams. So I'm, sure that, I'm sure the guys know this, but, like, and we've talked about it a little bit just in terms of not, you know, you're, you're in that sort of space in the game where you want to, be aggressive, but you also want to be smart because you have the lead. Like, how do you, is that just kind of, because it's a new team, you're, you're still trying to figure out how to close a game out just in terms of like, you know, how, how do we run clock, but then also stay aggressive, that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I never felt like we, 
we got passive. Uh, you know, obviously we're, you know, you know, Reef, Reef's playing the majority of the minutes at the point guard right now, and he's doing it on one foot. Uh, so that takes a little of the speed and pace to what we do away. Uh, but, you know, I thought, I thought we, you know, especially during that stretch I referred to where it was, you know, 60 to 49 and they scored a couple baskets and, uh, you know, we, we got one in tight uh, wide open three from, from Denz and, and then a, a drive for DJ that, that didn't quite go our way. So uh, I, I don't, I didn't feel like we really tapped the brakes there. I just thought, you know, we maybe did, we had a few empty possessions. The one where Denzel got the flagrant foul uh, you know, probably wasn't the, the best shot in the world. And then we had back-to-back -back turnovers after that. Uh, when the game, when you have a chance to score, and if you score, now it changes the complexion of the game. So, uh, you know, that's that's something we got to clean up. Uh, is that uh, Mac, I don't recall what they said on the broadcast, so I apologize for putting you in this spot. But did you get – an explanation on the uh, last play of regulation because it seemed like you guys should have had 6.6 .6 seconds left at the shot clock went off. Uh, I did not. Uh, obviously, I didn't didn't see it. Uh, you know, the referees uh, said that it hit the rim. So, um, you know, one, once they let the play go and they don't blow it dead, then they can't go back and look at it. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll look look at it when I get on the airplane. Final question, John Mattel. I guess, Greg, just how, how, how close is Barkus? I know you said, like you said on Wednesday, you just want to be careful with it. It's a long season. Um, but was there a chance that you, you thought maybe he, had, he could have played today or, or were you still sort of like, hey, we got to be careful? Uh, I mean, he, he hasn't practiced. So, uh, you know, if he can't practice, obviously, we're going to put him out there in the game. So uh, I, think we're, I think we're closer to having him back on the practice floor, whether that's uh, – Monday or not is yet to be seen. We'll see how it reacts over the next 48 hours. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll continue to evaluate. But like I said, his, his health and well-being is, is, number, is priority number one, two, and three. Uh, and we'll worry about ourselves and the team as we go forward. we got to make sure that we get him right uh, for the stretch run. All right, that'll do it for Coach. We'll have Denzel Mahoney here in a minute. Thank you. What changed out of, out of halftime, Denzel? Like clearly, you were more aggressive, and, and you guys got made a run. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Can you say that again, please. Yeah, just what changed out of halftime for you, Denzel, um, and, and your team? You guys just seemed to be more aggressive. What What did you talk about, and what changed? Uh, we just knew that we were better than what we showed in the first half, uh, especially on defense, man. They scored like the first six possessions straight, and uh, that's just not who we are. So uh, we just try to fix it um, when we get in the second half. Matt, uh, Matt hey, Denz, uh, how tough is Aaron Thompson to uh, to just defend overall because of – the variety of ways he can get himself a shot and get others a shot. Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like Rondo out there a little bit with all his crafty little ball fakes and hesitation moves and things like that. How tough is he to deal with? Uh, I think Rondo's a perfect comparison to him. Just uh, somebody you can guard, like be off, with, but you can't be too far off because then that's when he starts making plays and getting his teammates involved. All right. Uh, I got to raise hand if you got a question. We'll go back to John time. What did you see, Denzel, just down the stretch? You guys built a lead, and and uh, and obviously Butler made a run to, to tie it and force overtime, but you guys had a chance to maybe close it out. Why weren't you able to? Um, I don't know. I'll take, some, I'll take the blame. Just being one of the seniors, just, you know, knowing time and score. Uh, we're up 13, and then uh, end up coming back, making some shots. And I think as a group, we didn't do a great job of rebounding at all. Uh, that was one of the emphasis, like, Matt put uh, – Put in practice and uh, we just go to execute on that. So that and uh, around the first half, that kind of killed us too. Uh, I mean, you got 
quite um, a bit of an absurd heater there to start the second half. How did how did Butler break that rhythm that you were in? Um, I don't think they broke it. I think I was uh, more focused on defensive end and trying to make plays for others and um, taking shots when I felt they were good ones. Any other questions for Denzel? Well, yeah, Denzel, I, I know that you guys, I mean, you want to win every game, but you're going to obviously take some lumps. How do you, how do you consume this one, the disappointment, and, and move forward? Uh, I mean, of course, no, you're, uh, of course it sucks. Um, but, I mean, it's part of college basketball. You win some, you lose some. And um, I think, you know, we just take this one and we look at the film and look at the rebounds we missed and the times on defense where we were just chilling and not really locked in and letting them just back cut, even though we preached it in practice, uh, me included. So um, I think we just take it as a learning lesson and uh, move on to the next one. All right, that'll do it for our session tonight. Thank you.